Hello, Call of Duty fans. Wildtail here. Welcome to a horrible gameplay, Search and Destroy. And <laughs> I mean, it can be a little horrible, you know, at some point. But uh, we won. You know, we won. Everything is aimed to victory. So for this video, or actually for this gameplay, we are testing uh, the explosive drone. And uh, the idea that I had was uh, just to set up a couple of those bad boys right here on B and watch this uh, right hand side flank. And uh, see what happens. That was my. This is my first uh, session history gameplay. And uh, even though it's not a super strategy, that was my first idea to start playing this game because I get bored with domination. So I'm gonna start playing a bit more of a search here on advanced warfare and see how that goes. Because I like such a destroy. You know, it could be really frustrating. You know, if you're in uh, with really bad teammates, uh, or it could be really good. You know, if if you are in, in a good team. More than the other gameplays, because if you die so quick in the uh, in the game, you have to wait, you know, a whole drill, watch your uh, your, uh, your teammates play, some of them uh, away from the controller, which is going to happen in this gameplay. So I'd say that you, depending the lobby, you really need to be careful when you play search, you know, especially in this game when uh, you know, where you die so quick, when you get all these weird situations. But uh, that was my only strategy for the game, uh, testing out the. Uh, the explosive drones and I have to say I like it I like it it's a very cool very cool it got me a couple of kills and um, some of them I, I relied too much on them and I got me killed early in the game so but you know what I like it I like it it's, it's very cool and I'm using the bow 27 what the name is uh, you know very very common weapon we, we don't have that many guns so you know but um and I like this attachment so it's a very cool attachment. I like it a lot, and uh, helps your life, or makes your life a lot easier, especially in, in, in a map like this one, where you know you can just easily hide in bushes and all that. So it's it's good to use this type of uh, attachments, I guess. Right? It's not so bad. So what's gonna happen here uh, in this gameplay? Um, it's gonna be very tricky. Oh, this is the part over here where I relied too much on this Bible. So I thought this guy was coming this way, that way. I tried to watch my back with one of those things, but it didn't explode. It didn't it didn't get the guy, so it kind of backfired at me. But uh, I got two, so it's very cool. You know, you can watch uh, uh, or like uh, little alleys with it. You just boom, uh, put one of those things in the in the ground, and uh, it can help you. You know, but it didn't help me over here, so kind of kind of weird. But it's uh, I find it very useful, so I'm gonna be using these a lot, especially for search. And uh, you know, it's it's all good, especially. For that B uh, bomb, the B bomb right there, it's it's you know it's very tricky. And uh, once again, I am playing classic um, search and destroy, classic uh, Call of Duty gameplay. No uh, extra boost, not that up because uh, it's horrible. And especially on this map, because people like to go up in the roof above uh, the B bomb, and they camp out there. Although, you know, there's going to be some lot of camping over here from everybody because we were losing a lot of rounds. It was, I thought it was going to be nice and smooth, but uh, it wasn't. So we really need to be, or I need, really needed to be careful and, and make sure that I got some kills in time to die. But, uh, you know, really careful on, on trying to win those rounds and uh, not allowing the enemy to take a lot of advantage over, you know, over us. So it was, it was kind of tricky you know at some point I thought we were going to lose but we ended up you know getting the W at the end uh, of the victory it's not a win it's a victory <laughs> it's the same but it's just victory at the end and uh, it was it was pretty good but once again uh, yeah people like to go up above uh, the B bomb and uh, they camp out there and it's easy for them to see you if uh, if you're going to the uh, to the bomb from any direction and uh, since the like the way this game works where you die so quick it's not helping that much if you try to kill those guys they have better chances to kill you than you to kill them so it becomes a really boring situation and uh, if you end up being the last guy alive uh, what a few times you're gonna die all the time because uh, your teammates try to rush up there and kill them and they die and I mean they are in a very uh, very good spot out there so to avoid that, I decided to stick to the classic, classic Call of Duty style over here. No EXO, nothing. You know, kind of. I don't find it fun, to be honest with you. I don't find it fun, but um, 
as long as I can play the, the, the classic playlist, I want to stick to it because I think it's a lot better. And uh, I don't think I got any, any score tricks going in, in, in this game. I don't know, it was it was pretty weird. But uh, I mean, overall it was, was pretty fun. Uh, can't complain much about my teammates, they were doing a good job. I was trying to do my job, watching planks, trying to stay alive. Uh, quite a few times, uh, you know, I managed to kill them and win the round and the other ones I died. But, uh, you know, that's the way it goes with such, you know, that's, that's, that's how it is. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose those rounds, but at the end, you know, you need to win the game. So, um, what else in this gameplay? Um, I don't think uh, I don't think a, a gun really matters here. I mean, you can you can go nuts in, in any gun. This this could be what medium sized map. So even an SMG. Maybe next time I play here, I'm gonna use uh, the machine gun and see how that goes. So it's a it's a good map for rushing, but it's also a good map for. Uh, maybe getting spawn trapped, you know, depending on your team, or even the game mode. Not so much here on, on search, but uh, if you play all the game modes, you can easily get spawn trapped. So it's a uh, it's a map that requires you to be really, uh, in my opinion, a strategic. Not so much rushing because if if you rush, uh, there's going to be a lot of snipers waiting for you on the other side, where you're going up the hill or down the hill. There's tons of snipers in this map. And uh, regardless of the game mode, and uh, they're gonna kill you quick. You know, sniper rifles are pretty much one shot, one kill. Any other gun is one shot, one kill. Even they show your feet. <laughs> so uh, sometimes rushing pays off. Sometimes it's not so great. So you know, it's always good to be careful. At least that's that's the way that I feel. That's how I think. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? That's 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 how it goes. And um, you know, in the end, once again, we just win. We just play. To win, not to, or at least these early games over here, um, because I'm learning how people play uh, this game mode. I mean, I know how to play search, and I can give you the link from one of my search on on, on Call of Duty Ghost. It was pretty beast. It was pretty fun, and 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 that's the thing. We have the confidence of knowing how to play the game and knowing how to play the game mode, right? But when it comes to to relying on the game itself. If it's going to work, that's when that's when myself, and I speak for myself, I start getting you know, like weird. Like, is my gun going to work? Because I don't know about you, but I've been in so many situations where I shoot first and I die first in this game. I see the hit markers for like half a clip on this guy, and they just don't die. And then he turns around and kills me. So advanced warfare is very frustrating and very weird in, in that matter. So it, it kind of like a place with with your confidence in a way I mean I know what to do I know how to kill the guys but I don't know if the game is gonna it's gonna work for me you know it's, it's just it's just so weird so even if you don't want to that stays in the back of your head and uh, it, it messes the whole thing it, it messes the whole thing because you know that you can be aggressive you know that you are good being aggressive you know sometimes you need to be defensive or, you know it all depends how the game is going I have no problem with that but when the game it start like acting up like that it really messes you up like you really don't know what to do and that's that's what happened to me not only this gameplay but every time I play advanced warfare I just don't know what to do because this game is just so weird sometimes I kill guys fast sometimes it, it doesn't make any sense and you get into this point where, where you just like look at the, at the kill comes like seriously like how is that even possible and I don't really watch kill camps until advanced warfare because nothing makes sense. So it's it's a very it's, it's a weird situation and 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 you know I'm just learning how to how to play this game how how the the mechanics work when it comes to hit detection uh, spawns well not so much on search when it comes to spawns but uh, overall okay with the, with the spawns and and you know and and what works a good range and a little bit of strategy over here I just love this. Uh, explosive drones here on, on the B flag and just watching this flank. You know that was my strategy once again for uh, for defending the the what's it called the the, the bombs because you got a, a really good clear view over here who's coming up, especially with this attachment. And uh, you have the B bomb on your left side and you got the A bomb pretty much behind you, so you're covering these two bombs at once. Although you need to be careful, you know they don't come 
you know, from behind and kill you. So, you know, we're trying to... Oh, this is over here. I thought I could kill this guy. But you just got hit markers and I don't know why they can go like crazy over the sides. It's just weird. That wasn't me, really. But this guy ended up getting the kill, so, you know, good. We won the round. Um, <clears throat> so, we were just watching those two uh, bombs at once. And, uh, you know, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. As long as we win the round, it's all good. And, uh, of course, at the end, we just push forward because everything seemed to point out that the, you know, there were like a fewer enemies. So, at that point, obviously, you become more aggressive. So, this is this is what I do. You kind of like I go by feel, whatever is, uh, whatever is going on with the game. Um, if the other guys are rushing too much, if the other guys are, you know, if the game is acting up, so maybe you play a bit more defensive, whatever, you know. Uh, you know, just keep an eye on those flanks. You know, there's only like three ways these guys can come up to to this bomb. So just make sure that you know that people are watching those those flanks and uh, you know, and you're golden. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. And uh, what round is this? I think it's like around like seven or something. Uh, just keep watching this flank. Just making sure these guys don't come this way because uh, they were trying and they did in previous rounds. So I'm just making sure that you know I got this this, this side covered and allows me to push forward. Right? If it, if it needed, allow me to to push forward. But um, I made a mistake over here, and I didn't see I didn't see this guy uh, that's uh, sitting down over here. So you know, it's a my, my mistake. I didn't check my corners, but I wasn't expecting the guy sitting there. So now you know that people sit down there. So keep an eye on that. And uh, here we got my uh, teammate who's away from the controller. So. Uh, sometimes you get these guys, uh, they're very annoying, they don't help the team that much, so, you know, it makes your job a lot more difficult, so, you need to stay alive, or try to stay alive a little longer, see if you can win the game, if you have, you know, one of these guys away from the controller, so, you know, I, I mean, things happened, so, we are just uh, trying to, to make things work, you know, in this gameplay, I'm not trying to make anything look pretty, that's not the case here. I'm just uh, trying to win this game because I don't want to lose. I hate losing. And there's a lot of people who rather lose a game uh, rather than just uh, maybe die a couple more times. And uh, that's one of those, those things that really pisses me off because you see them clearly losing the game on purpose just because they are, I don't know, afraid because the KD or something. Maybe they don't have the confidence or whatever the problem is. It's just so frustrating. And... Um, I would say 98% of the times I leave those games because if, if the guy is not going to try, I mean if you die in the process that's fine, you know, it happens, sometimes you get this 1v4, 1v3, 1v5 or even 1v6, we have done that, it's because we tried at least to win the round, if, if it doesn't work, you know, at least you try, you know, it's, it's you against three, you know, they have the advantage, of course they should win, but if you win, you know, it's pretty badass. So at least just try to win the games, you know, just try to win the games. It's better to have that victory at the end than defeat or you lost. You know, that's so bad, you know, when you know that you could have done something to win. So, you know, it's all about winning. Winning is good and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to bring better gameplays with uh, different strategies and stuff like that. But uh, these early search games is all about, I can mention in my previous multiplayer video, uh, it's all about testing out things, you know, testing out how people play, uh, maybe new guns, maybe new attachments. I'm looking forward to unlock um, a couple of, some EXO stuff that I want to use. Uh, I want to change my loadout completely and try different things. And, you know, in the process, you get your butt kicked, you know, because you're using something, you know, familiar, something. Maybe you play in a way that um, using certain uh, perks, you know, allow you to play this way, but if you don't use those perks, you can have to play differently because you, you don't have those perks. So if you're using like a low profile, so you don't get seen by the UAVs, you can be more aggressive. You know, you can rush, you can be an enemy spawn, and, and try to get those kills. But if you don't have it, you're gonna show in the mini map. So you can have to play differently a little bit. So well, the game's uh, coming to an end. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Wild Child, and uh, as long as if you haven't, please check out my channel, the videos, and I promise I'll bring more and a better game place because uh, you know I like search and uh, it's pretty fun so and uh, yeah more search coming and also some domination have some domination gameplays coming pretty good so once again thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video later